It's great to see you. It's been three months since we last met. Yeah, yeah. I've spent this time learning, understanding men and women. And there's been a reason for that. You see, I've got long hair, I look pregnant, <laughs> and I've got feelings. Ooh. Yes, a man with feelings. <laughs> like right now, I'm feeling hungry, tired, and like having a beer. <laughs> Now, these three feelings are for men the holy grail. But there's one more thing. Being a man is not an easy gig. Men? No. You see, on the plus side, we've got two heads. One's big and one small. Uh, less big. But the less big head is the boss. And like all bosses, he is a prick. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> and but he's got and he's only got one agenda. The bottom line. Now, sorry, I just fixed that. He's got, uh, he only got but he does think globally. But all he really wants to do is to get ahead. <laughs> and to constantly give himself a raise. <laughs> now, he does hang around with the weirdest people. <laughs> Two nuts and an asshole. <laughs> and guess who has to do all the work? The big head. The big head's got to do market identification and analysis, <laughs> customer relationship, product promotion. The only thing the small head is interested in is market penetration. <laughs> now, at the other end of the spectrum, we have women. Now, with women, the big head is the boss. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, they know it. So they invest in it. Curlers, straighteners, wigs, perfumes, shampoos, shampoo oils, creams. I mean, ladies, why do you want a shampoo with oil in it? We use shampoo to take the oil out of our hair. Why do you want one with oil in it? In fact, I was quite interested to find out why. So I did a survey and I asked a hundred women, what shampoo do they use when they're showering? 98 of them said, how the fuck did you get into my bathroom? <laughs> they... <laughs> the others said, we look for effectiveness, brand, smell, recommendations, and a long, long, long list. When I did the survey with men, they said, it's gotta be written, shampoo. <laughs> now ladies, I can well understand why you do that. You might be doing it for our men, for us men. So let me tell you how we operate. We come into a room, we see a lady, rather plain looking, we sit down, and we drink a beer. We look at her again. Oh, she's getting interesting. We drink another beer. Now she's really getting interesting. We drink a third beer, and then she's the most beautiful woman in the world. You're right. Experience speaking. Well, if only women would drink beer, then even guys like me would stand a chance. <laughs> now, as you can understand, the women's mind is extremely complex. Everything is connected with everything. It's like, it's like uh, uh, the traffic in India. <laughs> you know there is a system to it, but it looks rather chaotic. <laughs> and you don't want to cross that road. <laughs> 
So in India, we have a solution. What we do is we nudge a cow onto the road. The woman's cow is romance. Cuddling, eye-gazing, hand-holding, star-gazing, and all that crap. You see, our big head understands it. But as soon as our small head gets a whiff of it, a bug goes off and says, market launch. And then all the blood goes down. Big head, out of order. And the unique thing about the male big head is that it's the only organism that can survive without blood for four hours. <laughs> After that, call a doctor. <laughs> so ladies, if you don't call the next day, this guy doesn't have a clue. And the small guy doesn't know how to make phone call. <laughs> Now, it's obvious from this that I am single. <laughs> but I did get the opportunity once to try out what it was like to have these two heads work together. So there I was cooking for a lady in my house. She's away for a bit away cooking, uh, doing something and the food started to burn. So I call out to her and say, hey, what do I do? She says, put some water in it. Some? I said, what's that? She comes over, she puts some water in it. I said, hey, that's not cool. Show me how much. So I take a plastic mug. She shows me how much and I mark it with a red pen. Some. <laughs> Two weeks later, same girl, same scenario, different dish. Again, I shout out, what do I do? Again, she says, put some water in it. So I take my mug, measure out and pour it in. The lady comes, sees it, says, what do you do? You put too much water into it. I said, some. She said, no, you gotta put half in it. So I take a blue pen and I mark it, some. Now I've got to, I had a choice. Do I buy more mugs or do I get a new girlfriend? Which begs the question, if a man is all by himself in the forest and there's no woman around, is he still wrong when he says something? <laughs> and actually, if you really think of it, God knew and understood that. That's why he created Adam first, so that he could, have, he could be able to say something. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.